Yo guys, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're going to work on this XR400. In this video, I want to make this thing look good and run good. So let's get into it. So we have to make a spacer right here and right here. So it doesn't touch the uh, exhaust because this is not good. So I also made uh, a little spacer right here. So the exhaust is more this way. So it doesn't touch the fender right here. And also right here I made a little uh, spacer with the uh, old bolt. Yeah, just like this. I think it doesn't touch it right now, so that's great. So now let's throw the fender on and uh, put the seat and everything on and then start her up. Now it's time to shine off these rusty parts. Now let's try to take off these bars, take off all the, the grips and stuff and all these uh, controls. Then we try to remove this uh, paint, make it just look this metal color. So there were purple rental bars on it, so it's uh, not my color and definitely not the color for Honda. So I think we will. Uh, get this purple off. So there we go with the paint right overnight and right now it looks uh, pretty good. So now let's go to the bike and put the bars back on it. So there we are with the bike, now let's clean off all this oil and stuff, make this, uh, also take this grip off and just refurbish this uh, trolley. I also got some new parts for the uh, for both of the uh, Honda XR400 bikes. So right here we got a uh, shock protector for the rear shock of the white one. Then right here I got for uh, the red one some grips, pro taper. Uh, this is for the uh, the white one because it got a, a fat bar on it. So so this one is for the red uh, Honda on the rental bar so yeah that's basically it and also some uh, pilot jets because uh, when i give the bike throttle it has a little bit of a response time while it uh, it holds back for a second before it uh, before it uh, goes so so let's go to the garage install the jets see if the parts fit and yes let's go there right now
now to make sure that this uh, bike doesn't bug again we got some bigger jets and we will put a pilot jet i think 62 in here and there's a 60 in here right now so that should fix the, uh, the bug when you give it gas so just like this now the uh, flow ball is off it's a little bit dirty again i didn't not even run it but so all right right here is the pilot jet and we will get that one out and uh, change it for a bigger one so right here i have jet 65 and i also got a 68 but i think 65 uh, will be good but we will try it one good So right now we run a 162 jet main jet and a 65 pilot jet. Here we go, the float ball is back on the bike. Now let's uh, put the gas on. Probably we have to refill the gas tank because it's empty. It's out of gas, so let's put some fuel in. So now uh, we only have to pleat the brakes because the brakes are uh, very soft. There we go, I filled it up with some fresh oil. As you can see, you see all the sludge in it. When I pump the brakes, you see all the sludge. It's not too great, but try to clean it as good as we can. And then, yeah, probably you have to flush the whole system from underneath. But yeah, I don't have the tool to pump it up, so. I'm not sure what other way I can do, so I will try this way. If does, this doesn't work, I have to order the tool for it. But yeah, when we don't try, you don't know, so let's see. So let's open this. And also down here, it seems to be pretty, pretty orange, brown colorish, so not the greatest. I use a tie rip just to zip tie. So now pump. So it took a while, but right now we got the Pilot Jet 68 and a Main Jet 160 or 162 and this is uh, running perfect. So guys, thanks for watching to this build series. Uh, I will do a review video on the bike soon and I also got some new parts for it. So stay tuned for that. So like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.